Everyone, Zeddy here again with their final video of the day. It is time to review the Death Knight Titan. It looks really cool. Is it the best card ever? Am I going crazy? No, not this time, but I do think it's a really solid card that will absolutely most likely see play in pretty much any rune deck period. It's just a really versatile cool card we'll go over it i'll also actually give the clarification on uh sargeras i forgot to do that in our patch notes review we'll do that really quickly i just think it's interesting for sorry for forgetting and of course uh we have our giveaway going on of two mega bundles two regular pre-orders out of my pocket all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like and comment in the video in the description below be subscribed to the channel every thousand subs until all the cards are revealed we will add another mega bundle hit that sub button make me go broke so the clarification I want to make on Saragross was made by Leo, one of the devs on the Hearthstone team. Basically, uh, to the void is one of the abilities on the card, and it's not just like a twisting nether effect, it's also like a poof effect. Uh, basically, this is a poof or remove from the game, not destroy. That means that affected minions won't trigger death rattles, create corpses, all that. So, it's even better than twisting nether. So, that's really darn solid. So, I just wanted to point that out. Anyways, the Death Knight Titan Legendary. What does it do? Is it amazing? It's really cool. It is Primus, an eight mana seven nine Titan. After this uses an ability, discover a card with that rune. So this card by itself, does it give taunt? Does it give infinite imps? It's like just some value, which we saw in Priest and all of that. So overall, we know how good discovering rune cards can be. Each ability is uh, unique to its own rune, so that's good. But this card has been preemptively nerfed basically by those discover changes that were made pretty recently where you can't get triple rune card so that does hurt this card a little bit can't like get like vampiric blood can't get you know marogar that would have made this card probably a lot better but still eight mana seven nine get value so you can't really you gotta have something proactive to do with this right or else it's going to be a pretty dead card and thankfully each ability is proactive so what do we have here well first we have the runes of frost the frost spells or frost spell option the frost rune option so basically i, I pick runes of frost i'll also discover a frost card so you're guaranteed with this card as long as you pick an ability for some you know I, I don't i mean you could choose not to i guess that's weird you could be like that but you know you're probably gonna choose the ability. So yeah, you'll get that Frost card, which maybe you can play right away because the next spell you cast costs three less and his spell damage plus three. So pretty solid. You could play this in like Rainbow Death Knight and cheat out like the uh, the uh, 10 mana Rainbow Legendary spell, right? That would work and it would amplify by the spell damage. It would be seven mana and that's a triple rune card. You can play this again. You can play this in any deck. There's no rune requirement. So you could do that. You could also just play Glacial Advance for zero mana, which then cheats out another mana. They used to cheat out two, by the way. So there's implications for the card. Um, again, spell damage plus three is pretty valuable. You could play it in a burn deck. You could play it on an AOE. AOE options are available. There's like the uh, four mana consecration card, right? That could do plus five and draw a card for one mana. That could be really good. So pretty flexible. And again, it's proactive in the fact that you can play this on eight and it's the next spell, not the first spell. Unlike, um, I can't remember. I already can't remember which freaking uh, Titan had the first spell, but I think it was Shaman. The first spell is three less this turn. You could play whatever. So you could coin this and play a spell. So I think that's pretty solid. Um, the one that cracked me up the most is Runes of blood destroy an enemy minion this minion and your hero gain its health so you'll discover a blood card and you will also play this and imagine your opponents played fanatum like lord of the opera whatever it's called fanatum a 15 15 taunt and yeah yeah eat it with this not only does this become an eight 
what, 24? The minion gains the health, but so does your hero. That could be an insane, like, tempo swing in terms of um, this getting a bunch of health, making it, like, impossible to remove. It sucks it can't attack for a couple turns, but maybe it, it stays alive and then can attack later. But with all that extra health, pretty likely to stick around, and then you can use the other abilities. But also just really, yeah, really solve them like a big, like, in Rage Warrior target. You know, Rage Warrior likes to buff stuff up and make giant things. You can eat that, too. Can be really solid. So Runes of Blood, not only is it a bit of tempo in terms of removal, making a big threat on the board, well, not really a threat, but something you gotta kill, but also letting you live, which is pretty good in a Death Knight strategy. And the Unholy option, again, you pick this, you get to discover an Unholy card, you summon two 3-3 three, three Undeads with Taunt and Reborn. So you get two tokens on the board, it can help protect this. Basically, you can guarantee that you're playing at eight mana, what, 13, uh, 15 in stats with a bunch of that having Taunt, and Reborn, similar to the four mana spell that gets two, two, two taunts with Reborn. Not bad. Um, again, not one of the more amazing options, but just decent tempo, right? Fighting for the board, sticking on the board can be really solid. So all three options are relatively proactive. Um, all three options can like help you live, stay alive, or maybe even kill your opponent. They're very thematic to the runes. Is the card good is it a good card are you gonna want to play this I, I think blood decay is probably playing this um i think unholy is probably a bit too slow and frost is also probably a bit too slow i think rainbow absolutely would love this because rainbow is lacking in cards but i just don't i see this like a good card i don't see it as like completely nuts like a lot of the other titans but it's very versatile it's still like insane power creep you take a look at any other eight drops in the game it's still unbelievable the power level that these titans represent but certainly not like one of the sexiest most op just a very versatile good card that i think you'll feel good playing in especially blood decay but yeah possibly unholy frost probably the le least likely of the options but i'm still gonna give it a four to five in standard i still think this sees relevant play um I know if it had taunt or I don't know, maybe if it had more of a proactive ability on the body itself, it might be a little bit better, but I still think all the Titans are playable. Even the warrior one, which every day I'm souring on more and more, still think it's playable. Um, I just don't think it's one of the absolute best, but I don't think Death Knight really needs one of the absolute best and it, it could still really work out really well. So four to five in standard in wild, maybe even Death Knight. Yeah, it's eight mana. It's not going to work in even Death Knight. I'll give it a three in wild. Maybe like there's some blood decays. You can probably make it work a little bit in wild, but overall, definitely much more standard focus card. I mean, Death Knight is not even that good in wild period. So um, we got one Titan left. We have the Rogue Titan coming out tomorrow. That'll be able to announce like just under 24 hours from now. So likely, hopefully, only one video tomorrow and then the reveal season stops for the weekend and we can kind of catch our breath and then all the cards start getting announced and should be a lot of fun. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.